theory we're live. I don't have sound. What the fuck? Oh no, I do have sound. Okay. Okay, so back again. Welcome back to season two of Zombina. In theory, anyway, if this actually works, this is actually a second recording. My first recording got stuck on the screen. And then that was it. It was really funny because the video got stuck on the screen, but the audio kept going. That was fun. Anyway, let's see here. So we're doing something a little different with um, Season 2 here because, well, I have ADD and uh, well, ADHD, anyway, at least to some degree. Let's see here. So I get distracted, obviously, very easily since I go on tangents all the goddamn time. But we're also going to do a pick one kind of situation versus sticking myself to only having to do one, which this is the original one right here. And because it actually did get brought up, I changed the name of Zombina for two reasons. One, pronunciation. For whatever reason, some people were looking at this and not seeing Zombina. Two, copyright. Turns out that this spelling of Zombina was already taken, which is why I am now Zombina with two E's instead. So, thus, as well as I did it and oh shit, didn't know that, and so I went ahead and just... And I'm sure if I wanted to, I could like look it up and see who really did it first, but you know what? I don't fucking care. It's just a name. I'm just, I can change the spelling. Not a big deal. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to stick with our... Oh, well, do I want to stick or do I want to stick? This is the original one that we were playing. This is one that I crapshooted that I was like, oh, well, maybe you'll be okay, maybe not. I haven't really even named it yet. Lost in the Arctic's fun. I actually took out a uh, raider place in, Lost in that one. And then this is my one that I've spent a lot of time on at this point. Mm. You know what? We're going to go to the farm. We're going to Savannah Farm today. I also do not know exactly how long this is going to be. I have a couple of things going on today, so we'll see. Pardon the popping noise, that's a chapstick. Alright, stay in here a second and let everything load in. But this is my savannah farm. I have puppies, lots of puppies, and I also have a kitty room. Which is my bedroom down here. Kitties! All the kitties. Lots of kitties. They actually all came from the same village. I have been very, very busy in this one. So this is my bedroom. I have puppies. This this will be my enchanting room. It's it's a work in progress. So we're gonna have a kitchen. Well, actually correction. Kitchen's over here. And I'm gonna make this probably my dog room. I haven't totally decided yet. I'm also not- I'm using a different trackball mouse, one that is slightly less sensitive than my previous one, so if my turning seems a little weird, that's- that's what's happening. So, everything's nice and labeled. Let's go on a tour, so, puppies. What? Leg. Little crafting room, basic stuff. Exciting. I'm gonna turn this into something. I don't know what yet. Can I get- whoops, it's nighttime. Let's go to bed. We'll come back. Everything's better viewed in the daytime anyway. And I actually have several dogs. And when I mean several, I mean several. But there are so many things going on. YouTube, pretty much March, June, September, and December. You can expect me not to post anything. Look, my other dogs. So many dogs. All the puppies. It's just one of those. I could force myself to continue, and I tried this last March, and I just like, you know, this is just not, this is not healthy. So I have elected to allow my mental health to do what it needs to do. Oh, look, Enderman, get out of my pumpkins. You better not have killed something. Rude. Anyway, so my sheep. I got that here. Actually, let's let's do this because this is really well. And you can. Oh, and I did discover foxes are a thing. He is currently carrying around his lead because he picked it up before I could, and now he just apparently is going to hang on to it. Actually, can I throw a fish at you? Did I get you to drop that? I kind of need that. 
And I did not put him in here. He put himself in here. He, you can walk right up to him. I actually bred him. I'll show you from where and what happened, and it's absolutely fucking hilarious. But this is my, this is my donkey. My one and only donkey. The only freaking thing that I have, like, I haven't found any other equestrians at all. So, I bet I could leave that open and let him come out. Because a horse can't fucking get up that. There we go. There you go, buddy. And then he goes and gets stuck with the cows. Oh! Oh my! He's killing the chickens. Okay, note to self. Keep him out of the chicken coop. You know what? You can just stay with the cows. I guess. Maybe. Oh hey, he dropped the leaf. I didn't know he would kill the chickens. That's okay. I don't need these chickens. These are not necessary chickens. Can I get you out of the cow pen? What is he doing? Oh my god, that's hilarious. This is the first fox that I've ever had. So, his parents actually, actually uh, trapped themselves in boats. Which I'll go show you here in a second. And so I was like, okay, sure. Why not? So I went ahead and bred them, and this guy spawned, and that was that. I guess he could just stay in the... You like the cows? Well, I'm concerned if I let my dogs out, is he gonna fuck... Because I use the dogs to kill the cows. What is he doing? Is he digging? Well, he's fine right now. Anyway, so this is my cow pen. Obviously. I'm gonna get him back in here if I can, because I just feel that might be safer at this point, because I don't want the dogs to- I don't know how he'll react to the dogs. I don't know if the dogs will go after him or not. So, I don't think they will, but I don't know for sure. Oh god, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Sheeps. We've got carrots and beets and all sorts of fun stuff, and then the chicken coop is over here. Like I said, I gotta keep him out of the chicken coop, because, um, yeah can't get in it. Oh, he can. We're gonna take away that pressure point. At least for the moment of time being. I'll just put it in here. Those are my chickens. All the chickens. Eventually there'll be more chickens, but, you know. So let's get a bird eye view of this place. Thinking about giving myself a skylight. Oh, that's Enderman. Enderman decided to do that. Left me present on my roof. That is a bird. But pumpkin patch. Looks like somebody did get to my pumpkins. Rude. But we've got carrots, potatoes, beets. The sugar plant stuff is new. Working on my orchard. So, well, of course, all of the wheat over there. And my cow is loaded up to take to the village, which I will show you guys what the village is. Oh, then more orchard stuff and cacti and everything else like that, so. Zoom! Why do I have shears? Okay, it's been a bit since I've played this, so I actually don't remember what the fuck I was doing. Uh. Oh, I don't have a crafting box on me. Okay, I guess we're just digging like this. That's great. I don't have a crafting box on me, but I can see two in one shot right here. That's amazing. Utterly amazing. I think I was just transporting that guy back. I don't remember if I have any more berries so I can breed the foxes. Get him a friend, you know? Do I need more berries? Let's find out. Um, um, beet stream, flesh wheat. Doesn't look like it unless something's unlabeled. Oh, look, something is unlabeled. I definitely need to make a pot of those still yet. Well, let's go ahead and put the flowers where everything should be. Oops, wrong button. Get those. Ooh, yawn. Get those out of there. Don't know if I need those. I legit I just don't know. I'm gonna have to go look at the village and see what the hell I was doing. Alright. Charge! I know I was going to take this cow. Now I've got a lead to take the cow, which is nice. 
I got a lot of leads, Jesus. Yes, this is actually the village that I got all of my cats from. Oh, there is stuff there I can pick up from the fox. Okay. I will say the leaping thing was kind of cool. Again, though, I did not know that he was going to kill the chickens. It's good to know that he does that. Yeah, it's good to know that you do that. Mr. Fox, what do you have in your face? Well, you've got an egg. He's got an egg in his face now. Alright. As long as you don't bug the cows. Because my cows are important. I need those. So I need leather to be able to make books and shit. So. Alright. To the village. I obviously have lit everything up with various pumpkins instead of jack-o'-lanterns because... Yeah. I don't like being attacked from the sea. I really don't. And I got lots of shit to explore over here. Lots of shit to explore. Oh, there's a cow booty. What? Wait, are you... Oh, whatever. Off to the village we go. I've done this route so many bloody times because I actually modified this village so that way everyone has professions and they're safe from things so I can come and visit it for cats and if I need to exchange things for like emeralds and shit like that I can do that. But this spawn area was actually really nice because it's, it's, I've got, oh look, there was a head, so that's the head, okay. I wasn't sure, like, looking at this direction, I'm like, which way is its butt? I don't... Oh, that's kind of funny. So technically, I guess it's sitting forward? I don't know. Anyway, but we have stuff for, like, shrooms and stuff, because it's got a bunch of dark oak stuff, trees. Basically a bio... I'm, like, right in the middle of a lot of different biomes, because there's a bunch of stuff the other way, too, which is super nice. But this is the way to the village. And I'm lagging slightly as things load in. I have happily not been attacked through here yet. I did go in there and explore things a little bit. Nothing super interesting. I haven't explored that one yet. I just kind of went along the shoreline. What the fuck was that? I don't remember that being a thing. Oh, I bet it's one of the... Okay. One of those lava block thing with Bopper Doodads. And somehow I've just never hit it. I still don't know what copper's for. Oh, there's some coal. I probably should have to go... Oh, hello, Mr. Cow. Mr. Cow, Mrs. Cow, all the above. Cow, it's a cow. It's probably looking at me like, where the fuck are you taking me? Well, I'm taking you to a village where technically it's actually advantageous for you because you won't ever be slaughtered there. I still don't know why I have shears in my inventory right now. Oh look, another fox. I think I've got a cat trapped in one of these boats, too, on a freaking accident. Like it's trapped in the boat with the fox. And of course, once something like that is in the boat, it's it's there. You can't do anything about it unless you destroy the boat. That, yeah, there's a cat in it. See? <laughs> Two foxes and a cat. But these guys first one spawned and I could I was doing stuff in here and I was like I could hear a noise and I'm like what the fuck is that noise and I come out here and realize that there's a freaking fox in my boat and I'm like what are the odds of that and that was in this one so then I made myself a second one to go off and do stuff and bring some stuff back no big deal more cats to ferry across yet and uh so I made myself a second boat went across came back did some more stuff for like a couple you know in-game days and then went back out to my boat and I had a cat in tow 
and that's when that other cat got stuck in that boat because that fox was in there the boat was over here at the time but <laughs> i moved it there was another fox had spawned and gotten stuck in the boat i was like oh, okay so now we have multiple foxes stuck in the boat and then i bred those two and took the kid across so all right so this is my lovely lovely little village area here everyone's free roaming oh look at them they've been protective they got puppy disease and shit going on Probably could use some more beds, honestly. We come through here, we've got farm stuff, we have sheeps. So many sheeps. We have another little, little area here with looms, so that way they can have a profession if they so choose. More farm stuff, lots of farm stuff. Still kind of filling this in. Oh, hey. Look, I got seeds. Here you go. It's the tour. And this is actually down, which I actually have. We can take a quick gander. I have all of this completely highlighted and lit up because, well, I had a lot of shit spawning, and I just oh god, I'm gonna drop. Ah, there we go. And it was just, it was just not worth it. So we got that. Another village, more farming, lots of farming for everyone, more pumpkins. I'm quite proud of this. This took me a while to do. And this is actually the library. I made the library. No books yet. Working on that. I.e. why the cows are important. We got a smithy. More stuff. More stuff. I had to block that off because, well, bad shit. So. Oh no! How did he get out there? What happened? What happened? How did that happen? How did you... The fuck? Now I gotta look at some shit. How did that happen? Oh no, was it the pu Oh, it was the pumpkins. Can you get up there? No, you can't get up there. How did he? How did he get out there? Because they can't operate. They can't operate gate doors, which is why I had a gate door there. Did he follow from the top? Did I really? Oh no! I gotta investigate this shit now. How did you get there? Oh. green thing that was him that was him saying thank you basically so we'll just we'll just do that <laughs> whatever <laughs> i i don't yeah cosmetically that looks but i don't know how he got out there <laughs> i really don't <laughs> okay let's go take a gander with this shit let's see what's going on here oh i bet he stepped on this pumpkin and walked over or he stepped up here and walked over Ugh. God, you guys are so stupid. Of course, I've only got... I don't have any spruce fencing on me. Cosmetically, that would look funny. Well, hopefully nobody else does it. And if they do, well, oh well. Oh, is that how he got outside the wall? Did he fall off this fucking thing and get outside that wall? No. The wall's further over. Okay, so, oh yeah, I gotta go look up there and see what the fuck happened. He should not have fallen. I, I don't have any idea how that farmer's out there. We got a blacksmith, another blacksmith. More farming area that eventually I'll get put in. Another smithy. Got some pigs down there. The cow is actually going to go up here. There's another little spot up here that I've made for the cow. See? Gonna hang with the cow right there. Okay, we gotta go see what happened here. More farming. But, oh, I bet it was a pumpkin again. I bet he stepped on a pumpkin and went over it. Yep. How much you want to bet the dumbass stepped on the pumpkin and walked along this edge and fell off. 
Nope, there's another one right there. How are you guys getting through? How is this happening? Unless it is that pumpkin, which is a fucking possibility. Because I've got all of that closed off. It's gotta be from the pumpkin. There's like no other way out. Come on, get your ass back in here, come on. Alright, well we're just gonna remove this pumpkin then. Easy as that. Off you go. No more pumpkin. Oh, that pumpkin's probably gonna do it too. Off you go. Put here, since that one actually came, okay, since I got some seeds off of that. Put that there. And then you shouldn't be able to walk off the edge. Shouldn't. Awkward turn. This one I'm just gonna leave blank. Hopefully he gets his ass back in here. This is my pond. I was hoping to get a fisherman. I don't know if it's going to work. And of course, trying to get them back in the fence once they're outside the fence. Dear God, that's such a pain in the ass. Ugh. Catastrophe. Well, did speaking. <sighs> Those villagers may be four foot. And don't worry, there's nothing bad down there. I already looked. Yeah, that farmer, he... Unless that is that farmer from down there and it's the same one. But uh, that, it's, he must have stepped on a pumpkin and walked off the edge. That's the only thing I can think of. Because I've got this bitch penned in. Like, seriously. Oh, there's a cow right there. Thought I saw a cow. Yeah. I have to double check up top. But this is my village that I've been working on. Let's go get this person's cow here in a second. Chicken pen. Having a hard time, everybody? There's... That's gotta be what happened. He had to have stepped on the potato. Or not the potato. Pumpkin. He had to have stepped on the pumpkin and just walked right out. Alright. Well, let's go get that cow. He just might be forfeit. Because, again, trying to get them to come back, it just... It's, it's fucking impossible. Oh, wow. Love is in the air. Where could you guys go? Oh look, we do have a librarian. How fantastic. Ooh, love is in the air. Look at them go. Ooh la la. I do this for fun because I like building villages and making them look pretty and stuff like that. And two, they give you uh, cats. The end game right there is being able to have cats. At least for me. Because I haven't bred any of these cats. All of these cats that I have have spawned from this village. So... Oh, I actually had some stuff in there. Alright. Let's go ahead and get Mr. Cow. Oh, it goes there like that. And that one there. Now the trick is to hit the thing and not the cow. Come back! Here we go. Got it. Got it. Get up on the thing. Alright, you come back. Come on, you stupid cat. Come on, Mr. Cat. There we go. Alright. I hear a munchkin. Is there a little one in here? I thought I heard. Oh, there he is.
but ironically, there are actually, you need to make sure you have as many beds as you possibly can, but you also actually have to make sure you have the amount of doors. For whatever reason, the door count will decide how many offspring they choose to have. And you need to have 10 beds, I think? In order, it's, oh no, I think that's too many. There, there's a ratio that I don't remember off the top of my head um, for beds to villagers, and that will decide whether or not a cat's going to spawn. Come on, you stupid cow, you can make it. Come on, Mr. Cat. Oh, there's another little one. gate over yonder and hope that that person wanders in to go to sleep. Oh no you don't. I saw you try. Get out of the way. Go. Shoot. Actually having this happen at night works great because that means I can take a peek at all my torches and make sure everything's lit up properly. I don't think... Oh, this one will spawn one, too. Okay, then we'll do that as well. That one. Alright, oh, it looks like he is actually wanting a moon. Possibly. Oh, you'll do it. God, I, I put these all way too close to each other. They're way too close to the fence without even fucking thinking about it. Granted, I didn't expect them to do what they're doing and jump off the edge of this, but you know. He's probably lucky he's not dead. Where the hell did that guy go? Where's the cow? Seriously, where the hell did that guy go? Oh, there's a kitty somewhere. And I don't have any fish on me. Oh, there's a kitty. Here, Mr. Cow. Come be part of the village. I do not see what happened to this person. Oh, rude. Come on. He's like, you don't have any wheat on you. Why would I follow you? Because I've got a lead and I'm going to force you. Alright. I'm a little sad about this villager. I don't know what to do about it. Really, because I don't see it. Whoops, that's a good way to hurt myself. Graceful. Thank you. I do try. Buggery. Trying to get a better look from the bird's eye view, and then I fall off a stack of, t stack of stuff, and then I can't get to the rest of it. Well, yeah, no details. Yeah, I don't see him anymore. Let's move that over. I'm gonna stay right here so I can keep an eye on shit. Are you in here? 
Did he? Can, what? Can, can he operate gates? What? Okay, well, I'm going to stay here all night now. And I'm going to wait. But I think there might be a bed upstairs. I'll go upstairs and look. Actually, I think most of the beds are up here. Yeah, they are. I'm curious now. Yes, I hear the kitty. Unfortunately, I have no fish on me, so I can't do anything about it. I gotta watch this. I gotta find out if this person can operate this gate. I don't know. That's... Yeah. Black magic. Okay. Let's fix this situation. Because we don't need anybody planting anything in there. Because that would be poor. So we're just going to have that be empty like that. And... Yeah, oops. That's the wrong button. Okay, that'll work. That'll keep them from walking onto things they should not. Excuse me, come here. Oh, there's another kitty. Why are you spawning outside the fence? The kind of annoying. I... Oh, no, I didn't see that. There's a fucking villager path right there. Is there another house over there that I'd- oh no. I might have just buggered. Let's go find out. Because all this paved area usually means villagers. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Mr. Skeleton. Over. I didn't think so. Why did the cat spot? Whatever. You know, whatever. Not worth... Not worth stressing. The bulk of my villagers are safe, and that's really all that matters. in, hoping somebody would choose to be a fisherman, but so far, no takers. That cat's still over there. Not that I can see. That's okay. I don't have a fish on me anyway. Alright. Let's go fly, cut up to pie style. Oh, I'm fucking insane. Like I said, both of my villagers are safe, so we're gonna call it good at that. Oh! There's another cat over here I completely forgot about. No, you don't. No, you don't. Come back here. Rock. Come on, kitty kitty. But I went with 
fucked up walls because if I did not, then anything from the ground, like in the water, would be able to shoot things and I didn't want that to happen. So. Boat. There we go. Ah, no, the lead. I need that. Come back. There we go, I got it. Okay, and since we actually have some jack lanterns on me, let's go ahead and. That's a dark spot. I don't like it. Watch out. Watch out. Full on. Alright, so that's fixed. But yes, all of this is lit up to avoid issues. And while I was lighting up, I did discover there's actually several underwater caves here. Which, I don't know how to explore, not gonna lie. There's that cave there, which I will be exploring eventually. Oh yeah, a bunch of underwater stuff. Underwater cave there. Of our caves over there. There's a dark spot. Boink. Boink. I'm gonna drown! There we go. And a cave here, which I already lit up. Another one right there. Put a couple. I did try to put a couple of these in here to like help light things up to avoid dudes spawning, but I can only do so much. You still spawn. You're an asshole. Take on with you. Shoot. Scram. Rude. I should check the other side and check out this. Panned out far enough from the other side since that's the side that I actually come from. What to do. I do like swimming underwater, it's fun. The whole drowning thing is a problem though. Catch me first. There he is. Oh, you have a Nautilus shell. I'll take that. Really? 
actually another game, see if these are actually worth playing. I like the fishing in the water, and it's fun. However, I don't appreciate the assholes. Like, I'm fishing, minding my own bloody business. Leave me alone. Like, more often than not, I have taken, like, there's been multiple, multiple opportunities where I'm like, if I wanted to be an asshole, I really could be. And I don't take them, because I'm like, I don't see the point behind this, but okay. So. At one point, there was somebody who was like, had some serious problems, and I was like, well, you're gonna fight two pirate ships, and you're either gonna make it, or you're gonna die. And I'm just gonna sit here and not bother you, because I know that I would just get in the way. And, uh, he killed all of them, and then promptly came over and started shooting at me. And I'm like, can I help you? <laughs> you know? I was sitting here rooting for you, congratulating you on being able to, like, kill those things and not fucking die. But okay. I think that's far enough out. I probably should put some right there, because it's a little dark right there. Actually, having this at night is perfect, so I can actually see where it's needed. I love jack lanterns for this. I also think it's really pretty. I just kind of think it's little stuff like that. I, I think that. Not for everyone. Of course, nothing is for everyone. Ready to eat for everyone. Uh huh, whatever. Alright, oh, that's good. Oops, 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 there we go. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick nap. I'm gonna take that cat back. And then probably come back and pick up another cat. place all those things under so that way you know, he spawned far enough out from the village I'm not gonna be concerned but I always recommend if you're spawned next to a body of water even if it's a river put pumpkins in it to like get jack lanterns and put those in it as fast as possible because yeah you're gonna have problems if you don't potentially most of the time every time I've spawned next to a body of water I have those guys spawn it's so annoying specifically the trident guys those guys are annoying very very annoying. I see a kitty. Hello, Tinky. The cat's looking. She's like, why are you talking? That cat is turning 16 this month. My little muse. I think I turned here, right? Oh, hello, darling. Oh, nobody else is in the room, so I must be talking to you, right? Yep. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hi, sweetie. Yes. Hello, sweetie. Yep. What are you doing? sit. You want to sit up here or do you want to sit in your usual spot? Oh, step on keyboards. Hi, sweetie. Are you going to sit down? I kind of need you to sit down. Yeah, this is right way. Oh, she's drooling. I actually have cat slobber on my screen right now. Oh, hey, that's an island. I probably should turn. Oh. <sighs> you can sit down, sweetie. Yeah. 
It's interesting to think that I actually got this cat when I was 16, I think. 16 or, well, let's see here. So she turned 16 this year. So yeah, so yeah, I was 16. Or it's just before my 16th birthday. So, oops, I think it got stuck into it. So, am I going the right way? Yes, yes I am. Okay. But yeah, no, she's... She's been with me since I was 16, and I am now 32. So. That's a good time. I joke with my significant other because we've only been together five years, and I'm like, yeah, you've got some competition. She's my current longest standing relationship. <laughs> and then I can have cats play and stuff. But for the moment, you're going to the cat room. There's a bed. You're gonna like it. At least I assumed you would run to the bed. Apparently I was incorrect. Right, whatever. Get you a little further. In. In. Shove, shove, shove. 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 There we go. Back for the next cat. I'm stuck. There we go. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my cat is purring away. Purring away quite loudly, actually. with one hand. I can do these screeches. So gorgeous. Hopefully the recording on this actually turns out how I want it to. We'll find out. Oh, and I think I did make mention of a risk. What the actual fuck? Sorry, Tinky. She thought I was cussing at her. Come here, gorgeous. No, are those puffer fish? Well. Huh. You finished reaching it completely. Huh. My poor cat, she literally just left thinking I was cussing at her. Oh, my poor kitty. She'll probably be back. Oops, eh. Anyway. Oh. So, Final Fantasy and all of that kind of fun jazz and whatnot. So, I landed myself a risk game uh, that actually hurt quite a bit. Turns out it might actually be an autoimmune. I don't know. The fun part is, is the fact that the flare-up, as they are called when that kind of thing happens, uh, is the only time that you can actually tell when an autoimmune is happening, and mine is no longer flaring. So my, I, nicely, I'm, I'm basically back to gaming at this point. I still have a rather dull ache going, but uh, other than that, oh, stretch. So 
which is nice and also nice at, it, it's nice but also not nice at the same time because that means that I have to wait basically we have I have to wait until there's another flare up and then I have to go in and do lab work immediately because that's the only time that an autoimmune would actually show so there's also potentially nerve damage because I did break the arm once upon a time and then the arm was never set properly for reasons that which I will not go into but um, that's a thing also so that it's, we're eliminating that as we're waiting to see if I have another flare up basically in some joint or another am I going the right way? yeah I'm still going the right way so we're eliminating whether or not that is I'm working with my doctor to eliminate whether or not that is actually the reason versus an autoimmune so we'll see we will see I'm personally not stressing. Is it kind of annoying? Oh yeah, you bet your ass it is kind of annoying. Am I overly concerned that it could be, you know, I'm like, if this is an autoimmune, then that means I've lived with it my entire life as is just fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not gonna stress that. I see no reason to stress this. But point of conversation, basically, is I'm back to most of my gaming now, which is super nice. Can't be overly to exertion just yet, because I do get sore still, so I actually still am wearing braces and stuff like that. But I'm a lot better than I was previously, which does mean that Final Fantasy is back on the table to potentially be able to do stuff. I'm just, financially, have to deal with things at the moment first, so that's a thing. But right now I'm playing WoW. Uh, World of Warcraft, also known as WoW, World of WoW and stuff like that, I'm back to that. Um, primarily because it is actually an easier game to play than Final Fantasy for the simple reason that I don't have to do the- Ah, come back! No, come back! There we go. I don't have to run dungeons and or raids to be able to play the game. I can just dink about on my own and do my own shit, which is super nice. Which is automatically less stressful on your hands and joints and stuff like that for all, what I believe is probably obvious reasons. So, that's a thing. So I'm playing that right now. I'm thinking I might actually incorporate that into some of my YouTube stuff. I haven't really decided yet. This is my first recording that I've done in a smidge now. Like I said, the other first one was actually back in March. I tried to, and it was just, honestly, I didn't really like the recording. I wasn't feeling good about it to start out with the end. So I'm not too upset that it got, but that it just didn't record right. So I'm not too upset about that one. So do 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 do. And this is why I use torches because torches will light stuff up, so I can still do things at night, which is super nice. If I've made this trip back and forth so many bloody times, I could probably do it in my sleep. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, though. Okay, I think this is where I turn. Yep, there it is. But I am kind of, like I said, it, the financial aspect is a little bit of a thing right now with Final Fantasy. Um, I am still well aware of the fact that uh, playing all of those dungeons and raids and stuff like that is is potentially still going to fuck with me, which is one of the driving reasons I want to make sure that all of my achiness is gone before I try to return to Final Fantasy. And even then I don't know... I have to weigh it out, basically. I have to weigh out, it's like, how do I want to try this again? And then possibly find myself, you know, because I'll know within a very short amount of time of picking up the subscription whether or not I, like, all I have to do is buy one month. And I will know within probably three days whether or not I can actually play the game. But that is still... A chunk of money that I have to be willing to part with just in case because there is that potential. So as it is I'm content for the moment to continue doing what I'm doing so I'm not gonna fuck with anything but let's see if I get squirted by whatever hit me last time again. That was weird. See I find the lit up bottom, the, the lit up floor bottom, the sea floor bottom thing pretty. I just do. I'm also a huge fan of fish tanks, so. I believe I still have lighting up to do on the other side of this yet. Not 100% sure. Right now we're ferrying cats, so. Come here, kitty kitty. Ooh, ah, kitty. Come on, kitty. 
Okey-dokey. Like I said, you have to lead the cat. They're, they're dumb. They will drown. They will not get out of the water. I don't know why. so adorable. Like, how is that not adorable? Seriously. autoimmune thing. I'm like, well, I can't discount. <laughs> my fox still around. Is he okay? I'm not seeing my fox. Oh, no. Oh, there you are. Here, come on. You're gonna come out of this pit. He's still following this. Come out of the pet. Please. Thank you. Good boy. I actually don't know, like, if he's gonna stay around. Is he not gonna stay around? I honestly don't know. I'm assuming he will. I could be wrong. Since I've got some more pumpkins on me. Well, yeah. A couple of dark spots on the side. Take what up. Let's see here. Oh, it's not too bad. I don't like that spot, though. That's a bad spot. Oh, there's a dolphin. Actually, I did a pretty good job of lighting this up. Let me put some right here. Zoom. Boink. Why am I putting some here? Because of the dark pit. And I don't have pits. It's not dark pits. Which I yeah, that's better. Yeah, now I did a pretty good job of lighting this up. Louder, dude. Okay, anyway. Oh, I'm mostly insane. It's alright. How do I put you somewhere? I don't know where to put you. I don't have a pen or anything, Bills. You know what? That works. You can just stay with the with the pony. That that's fine. Like at this point, that's fine. I gotta, I gotta get some shit out of my bag. Goddamn. I'll go back for another cat. Okay. Where's the crap hole go? Um. Oh da 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 da. I don't think I have a. Do I have a potions drop box? I think I do. Right. I usually have a potions drop yeah, potions drop box. There you are. There you go. Okay. Plush shit goes up there. Wood products. Here you go. Here's these, because I don't know what else to do with them. At least not right now. Fencing. The fencing. I was apparently going to do something, or I was in the process of doing something, I don't remember what it was, so we're just not going to fuck with it. There we go, flush. Eventually I'll be breeding dogs, but not right now. Pumpkin. I need those seeds, okay. Uh, check that folder. 
plant. Oops, chicken. Took off the raw meats. Raw meats. Tools. And some other random drop box items because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. I don't think I can combine that with that. Okay, name tag. Oh, I combine that with that. Looks good. Sand. 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 Alright. That. And this. I remember why I had shears. I forgot ours. Straight feathers. Sand. There we go. Feathers. And yes, I intend to breed some more foxes, which is why that's a problem. Charge! I should probably breed my chickens. Oh hey, I can put my step plate back because the fox is contained. That is very good to know about that fox. That could have been very bad if he'd gotten into here. Oh my god, I'd be so pissed. Here, chicky chickies. Make more chickies. And then I'll do this and lead them all over here. And dash your guys. Watch out. Okay. Ha. Which is why that's there. Alright. And for now, all these are just going in here. Because I don't think I have a spot for eggs yet. Another kitty. Just about done for the day though, so. Here we go. Crunch some bread. I'm wondering if it was a puffer fish that I managed to hit, or if there's an underwater temple around here somewhere that I'm not seeing, or I'm not told, like, I've missed somehow. And then one of those guardians hit me. See, but I'm not seeing any, as I bet it was a puffer fish of some sort. That's my bet. There's a ship there, which I did raid. Oh, look, another dolphin. I haven't found any treasure maps yet, though. I did find a treasure map with uh, Lost in the Arctic. That was fun. I also still don't have any armor in Lost in the Arctic, but that's okay. What's really funny is that I, I spent quite a bit of time setting myself up in that one, and then I discovered that I missed an igloo that was just off, the, off on the horizon kind of thing. The sun hit it just right, and I realized I recognized the shape, and I was like, holy shit, is there a village like right next to me? And I didn't notice. No, 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 just poor one dude trapped in his basement with a zombie. I honestly don't know what to do with those sometimes, because there's like two cages down at the bottom. One contains a zombie, and one ca which is the previous enchanter, and then one contains a standard person. And I'm just like, okay. I've come across this many, many times, and I, st I don't know what I'm supposed to do with those. But I just kill the zombie, and then let the other dude out, and he turns into an enchanter. So, which is what I, I've built him all sorts of fun stuff. I'll have, I'll have to show that at some point. But that is not this game. This game, I modified an entire village. That's the moment where you stop and go, I might have a little too much time on my hands. But this is a nice creative outlet. 
for me anyway. Because it's basically, I can just build things and I like building things, so it does. Oh, and I did post in my YouTube channel, but I'll make mention of it here as well. Um, since I do have bipolar, and my bipolar is fucking clockwork, which is super nice. I've spent the last two or three years now, two, two years for sure, a little bit more before that, though specified time for that, not 100%. Um, looking things up, like just tracking it, basically. I'm tracking all of my stuff, because that is very important, because no, nobody's going to be able to do that for you. And so I've tracked it. Really? Damn cat. Gotcha. Come on. Get into the boat. So, um, but I am from here. Oh my god, it's a dolphin. What are you doing on the river? Ah! Anyway. <sighs> Long story short, what I'm trying to say is the months of March, June, September, and December, I will not be posting anything. Um, with my bipolar cycle, those are the months that it is going to hit a peak or a pit, which this last one was a pit, so the next one's going to be a peak, and essentially I just basic day-to-day -day life is really hard at that, so I'm not going to posting on YouTube and being creative on this kind of level is just not gonna fucking- it's just not a thing. Will I still play games and entertain myself? Yes, but I'm not going to sit here and record videos and then edit them and do all that kind of- just not gonna happen. So thus. But, so, if you ever subscribe, keep that in mind, that's a thing. That's just- I will not be posting anything during those particular months. So. And if I do, which is highly unlikely, um, it's going to be decidedly a one-off. So, previously I have not given myself this kind of leeway, and this time I am going to, because, well, yeah, sometimes you do have to put yourself first. So. Not everyone agrees with my take on mental health. And it's really kind of funny, when you talk about mental health, a lot of times people immediately go like, well, it's like, for example, you know, it's, I'm just telling people, it's like, well, this is what I have to do. This is just a thing. And they they think it's just like this poor star. It's like, well, is this a problem? What do you need to, what do you need us to do? Like, what can we, how do we fix this? And I'm just like, there's nothing to be fixed. Like, no, I'm not on medication for very, very personal reasons, of which I will not go into. But that is personal choice. And if other people are able to not have to avoid certain months or whatever so if, you know, with if they do that and it works for them more fucking power to them i have tried the medication route and it does not work for me oh my god so thus i go for self-awareness and i actually use cbd as well so which i spent an entire two years tracking how out how the cbd stuff does stuff too so that way if ever asked i can be like here you go but yeah no Everyone has their own way of doing things, and I know a lot of people do not agree with mine, but it's... I really think we all need to stop with the whole when someone makes mention of their mental health or whatever, of being like, oh my god, how do I... It's, it's, it's such a taboo subject. I'm like, everyone technically has mental health. Just some of us have more niggles than others when it comes to it. So, I am one of the ones ha that have niggles. Others may not have niggles. Who fucking knows? But technically speaking, we all have it. And I think it's really weird that people seem to think, like, oh, well, I don't have mental health. I'm like, actually, you do. You just happen to be one that may not necessarily be as prominent as others. Or you may actually have a completely normal functioning brain that has absolutely no short changes or whatever. That is fucking amazing and impressive, and you should own it. Totally. But don't expect everyone else to be the same way. <laughs> Come on, you stupid cat. Get out of the water. I think I already have one of this color. That's okay, now I've got two. The black one I know I don't have, and I wish that I'd managed to grab that. I bet I should grab some fish and hang on to it. Yeah, see, I don't have a black one. Huh, <sighs> sell this. Oh, I don't have one of these ones. Do I? 
No, I don't. Look at you. New one. Oops. Sit. Oh, no, I do. There's one right there. Okay, so I've got two of these ones. That's fine. I also have two of those ones. One right there and one right there. Everybody else is a single so far. I'm going to have two of that one. Because there's that one is sh the other one is sharing there. Still in the same boat with that box. Oh! Don't mind if I do. I hear someone. I'm going to kill your llamas now because I want the leads. Where'd you go? There you are. Give me your lead. Kill your llamas and walk away. <laughs> That's really kind of bad. Oh dear. I should probably breed my cows. I don't feel like it. We're gonna go back for another fox. And then I'm gonna call it good. For today. Right now. Because I'm getting tired. Eventually I'll have an aquarium and everything too, but not right now. I'll have to log in and uh, I'm still on that group realm thing that I have and I've built all sorts of shit on that one. I'm quite proud of it actually. I'll have to log in and then start recording once I'm already logged in so that way the server name and stuff doesn't show up. Privacy, yo, you know, trying to respect it. But I would like to show everyone the, the stuff that I've done because it's a lot of fun. I'm very proud of it. So, you know. Dolphins. Pretty, pretty dolphins. I also have a hive on my face right now. Completely fucking random, but it's fucking throbbing at me and I'm not super happy about this. Health problems. They're fun. Well, allergic reaction. They're fun. And what's really nasty about this one is it's right under where my glasses sit. So it is possible for me, if I move my head wrong, to hit it with my glasses. And I'm just like, oh god, ow. But, you know. Allergic reactions. They're amazing. That's actually one of the tests I get to go in for. My doctor soon is actually an allergic reaction test. An allergy test. So exciting. I think I've personally pinpointed it by power of elimination over a year of trial and error with food, but uh, we want to, the, the doctor wants to do an actual allergy test just to be 100%. And also to find out if I have something like celiacs apparently, because uh, I'm technically allergic to yeast, I found out. Do you have any idea how much food like contains yeast? It's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. But I can't eat yeast, mold, or fungi, so no shrooms for me anymore, which is really depressing because I love mushrooms. But uh, cheese is a big one as well, which is really fucking annoying, but I have no idea if it's a full da dairy allergy or is it just cheese. I haven't tested that one yet. So that is one power of elimination that I have not done yet. But I have one leftover hive, which I'm not super happy about, which is on my cheekbone, which I'm just like, really? Of all the spots, my cheekbone, really? Okay. Let's get ourselves a fox. One for you. Oops. One for you. And there's the baby. So here's how we do this.
But yeah, the babies won't run from you, but the main foxes will. So, those two are honestly just going to stay in their little respective boats until I've decided that I don't want any more foxes. And then I'll let them go and they can just go do whatever the fuck they want. Because honestly, getting two of those next to each other, holy shit, what a pain in the ass. Because they don't lead. They really don't. This is the f thus the reason why I've never had a fox before. This is the first time that I've actually been able to breed foxes because, well, trying to get them next to each other is basically impossible, so. I don't know, maybe I'll turn my horse pen, equestrian pen thing into a fox cave or something, I don't know. Let's see. Give him a tree or something, I don't know. Oh, actually, I wonder if I could breed these two. I imagine I probably could, which means I could probably let those things go now. We'll let this one grow up and we'll find out first. Because, again, I don't know. <laughs> I've never had foxes, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you can breed two domestic ones. Do they have a collar? No, they don't. Okay, I didn't think so. Probably gonna leave him in the boat overnight. Or maybe not. This place is so lit up, there's like no way anything's gonna fucking spawn on me. Except Enderman. There's a cave system over there, just that way, slightly, past my pumpkins that I've been exploring slowly but surely. It's not very big, however, so I have to keep like digging little tunnels and shit to go find more crap. But I'm very proud of this area. I think it's pretty. My awesome cow pen. Alright. Come here. I'm gonna go take you with the other one. Okay, am I? There we go. Come be in here. There you go. Did you just he did. So you've got an egg, and you've got a lead. Okay. That's exactly what happened with the first one. Take it off the lead and we'll fucker grab it. Which I forgot to use the shears. I was gonna grab some shears. I was gonna, yeah. Basically the shears are for seaweed. I was gonna grab some seaweed and stick it in my fish pond that I've got going on over there, but... Eh. Here we are. Okay. So again, welcome back to The Adventures of Zombina. Second season. We're going to just be picking random games basically each time and going from there. So, this one I've obviously played a lot by myself, but ultimately each game I will still continue to play by myself, even if I am or am not recording. So... Because that's just... That's more fun for me. Plain and simple. So that's what's happening. And I'll just give everyone a tour whenever I log in to see if they can see anything different. So. But. That is it for today. I have no idea what time it is. I'm gonna go to bed. But. Alright. Have a good one, y'all.